What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have a PSA return. This is the Flame Wingman we pulled out of the Lost Millennium. I'm super excited to see what the grade is. I did not peek, but before that we're gonna open some packs and I also have an extremely epic giveaway this time. Lost Art Dark Magician Girl. This is the new one with the 035. I think the old one was zero, like one nine or one six or something. So this is the reprint, but it is still the Lost Art Dark Magician Girl. Pretty awesome. You guys can win that. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed to the channel, and let me know what you think the Flame Wing Men will get. I will pop up the replay just so we can reminisce right now. Hope you guys are hyped about this video because I just decided, you know what? We got this box. Let's just open it up. Obviously, the goal for the ultra, the ultra rare, which are 1 in 24 per box, so it's actually kind of weird because they're actually harder to pull than ultimate rares. We would like the Ancient Gear Golem, obviously, and the ultimate rares, we want the Ancient Gear Golem, the Flame Wing Men. Thunder Giant, Wing Karibo, and like Brain Control is all right. We wouldn't mind Rechef either. Those are pretty cool. So here's Hida, the Fire Charmer. Not too many like crazy valuable commons. There are the Elemental Heroes though, which is cool. Final Ritual of the Ancients. Here we go. Ultimate rare! I had to look twice! Oh my goodness! We got an ultra ulti! Finally! Before we get started, I wanted to announce that on my website, ruxin34.com, I have just put up hundreds of old school Yu-Gi-Oh! original packs. So like Magic Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, Labyrinth of Nightmare, and Legacy of Darkness. Unlimited but original packs. You guys can go buy them to be opened on video. So if you guys wanna have a video where I open up your packs, you guys can go over to my website. It'll be in the description. You guys can purchase them there and then I will open them up for you guys on a video. And if you guys want some sort of shout out, just make sure you DM me somewhere because you can't put a note when you buy them. You'll have to DM me on Instagram or Twitter. Make sure you check those out at Ruxin34. Follow me there. So go check those out if you guys are interested in buying some packs and let's get into the opening. All right, and before we get into it, we're gonna open a few packs. So these Shadow Spectres had a fire ultimate rare in them already. And then we're gonna try the Generation Force. Maybe we can pull the Ghost Rare Leviathan Dragon. Let's see. If we can do that before we actually get into the PSA return, because otherwise this will be a very short video. I am also hopefully going to get back some other PSA returns soon because I sent a ton of cards. They've been there for a very long time, but uh, who knows really with the uh, PSA these days. Ghost Rick Stein, let's see what we can get. We got a Vampire Duke and a Noble Arms Excalibur. And so these are some pretty nice packs right now. We're pulling some pretty good stuff. All right, super rare, pretty good, guys. I'm getting pretty nervous about this Flame Wingman because it is actually, it was in great, great condition. Like this should be a PSA 10. And I'm also nervous. I really hope they didn't get anything on the back. Like the, you know, the crap that gets on the back of the slab sometimes. I just really hope that that's not on there. But uh, you guys know how it goes sometimes. We got the Phantom Magician, Giorgiano. Explosive Urchin, Wing Tortoise, and the Burgeoning World Flame. Thunder Short and Mass Change. Next pack, we got Shadow Spectre. Shadow Spectre actually does have a, a, several decent hits. I'm not going to say a lot, but it has some pretty good stuff. Like the cover card, obviously, is a good one. And then the one we pulled was $40. I didn't know it was that good when I actually pulled it. It's actually super good. Archfiend Giant. And the, wow, look at this. Tureen Toothed Sukunoko. I think I nailed that. I don't know if Tureen. That might be the one I messed up, but I think it's to the Sukunoko after that, so maybe I got it right. All right, Pump Princess, the Princess of Ghosts. Man, there's a lot of S's in that. That's killer. We got the Saber Hawk, Sacred Serpent Wake, Rib Gardener, Grisail Prison, and the Tureen Tooth Sukunoko. Baby Raccoon Tan Tan. Man, that, there's a lot of words in these. Okay, let's try another. Generation Force. One day we will pull the Leviathan Dragon. I don't care if it's unlimited or first edition. We will pull the Ghost Rare, guys. All right, wind up, dog. Flash. World Flame. Oh, a Super Crash Bug. There's a Super Rare. Sky Star Ray, Dragon Sword, and Past Image. Very nice. We'll take the Super Rare. Looks pretty good. All right, next pack, guys. We are getting closer to that reveal, the PSA return. I can't wait to actually do a PSA return that is not one card because it's all one card now. It's always one card. We got the Pump Princess, Princess Ghost, Malasevra's Fork, Saber Hawk, and Cal Griffin, Jangshi, and Druid Drew. 
because basically if you send anything that's not super express obviously they're closed now but like even express this was an express return and it took like three months so if you send anything even less than that it's going to be gone for a very long time we got the ghost trick scare malasevra's fork the mirror and noble knight boars this one was used in the noble knight deck on dual links i was about to say i don't know what i was about to say but it wasn't dual links all right there we go super rare so we've pulled uh three super rares so far can we pull something that is not a super rare that'd be nice all right, here we go. Leviathan Dragon. Let's pull it, guys. Can we get the Ghost Rare? The Ultimate Rare looks amazing as well, but the Ghost Rare would be insane. Fly Fang, Painful Return, Vylon Filament. Okay, the Treaty of Uniform Nomenclature. G -g -g All right, we got three packs left over here. Before we get to the reveal, guys, here we go. Make sure you guys enter that giveaway. All right, Vylon Filament. We got the Drill Barnacle, Fishing Kicks. Girgiano, Wind Up Snail, Skull Kraken, Elementor Flash, and Wind Up Dog. Shadow Specters, the last pack. Here we go. Let me know, is it is it hot where you guys are? Because where I am, it's like 100 degrees, and I'm like, I feel like I'm sweating right now. You guys may or may, may not be able to see it, but uh, I'm very hot. I don't know about you guys, because it was 100 degrees today here, and it was humid too, so it wasn't just 100. It was rough. It was really rough. All right, Generation Force, let's get the Leviathan Dragon, Aqua Jet, Drill Barnacle, Spear Fist Soldier, and the United Front. Okay, Milla, the Temporal Magician, Pokey Draco. All right, guys, the time has come. We have the PSA box. So last time we had a PSA return, it was Mech Chaser. It was, it was, not, it was not good. It was not happy. It's disappointing. Mostly, not necessarily because of the grade. The grade was a little disappointing, but it was a little bit expected as well. It was the... Uh, the fact that the slab was covered. So I hope that that does not happen this time. Hopefully we'll get the card and it will be nice and clean. All right, let's see if we can. Okay, okay, you gotta go this way. I did not see it, I did not spoil it. All right, okay, the back looks clean, guys. This was an express return, by the way, not a super express, because I sent this in March. So before you could actually do express and all that stuff, there was no super only like it is now. Okay, so let's check it out. Looks like the back did not get covered in junk, which is already thumbs up. We're feeling really good about that. Check out this card, guys. Let's see how it looks. So the, the corners are looking pretty strong up there. Pretty strong. That surface looks amazing. Centering looks good on the back. Oh, wow. This is a pretty card, guys. Okay, here we go. Let's try to cover it up. Here we go. Flame Wingman. How's the centering look on the front? Pretty good. Maybe slightly off. Slightly. Barely, barely, barely. But the rest of the card looks really good. Let's see what it got, guys. What do you guys think it is? Let me know in the comments. Do you think it got a 9? Do you think it got the 10? This, by the way, is the gold stamp. We pulled it out of a box. You can only pull the gold stamp out of a box because it's the legit one. The silver stamp is a counterfeit made by UDE, and you can't pull it out of a box. You can only get it out of the special product. Okay, so we pulled this. You guys saw the replay earlier. Let's see what we got. Are you kidding me? It, what? It has to be the centering. That's the only thing it can be. This card is literally perfect. It has to be the centering. If you look at the centering, the centering is more off than I thought it was. So let's, let's try and be objective here. Okay, you see this? The centering is definitely thicker there than there. And a little bit from top to bottom as well. But the top to bottom doesn't seem that bad. Wow. Wow. That centering is a little bit off. I'll, I will say that it is a little bit off, but it's such a bummer that that like it doesn't even it, you have to look for the centering like the eye appeal is not hurt by this. Like you look at that card. It looks amazing. It looks super good. Oh, that's such a bummer. Every time we pull something big, it grades it a nine. We never grade tens like the I think Jinzo we graded a 10, but that was in 2019. Ever since then, like Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, Cyberdark Dragon originally was a nine, did grade a 10 eventually, but you know, all that stuff's grading nines. Like, every time we pull something big. Uh, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, of course. And this was the cleanest one. Like, everything about this was super clean. Wow, so this is a huge bummer. Um, I am very happy that they did not get crap on the back, which is kind of sad that you have to say that, but the back looks good. I mean, it's super clean. It's that centering, man. It's the centering. This might be a good BGS candidate, but um, you, you know how it goes with BGS for me. I've never had good luck, so... I think that this should be a 9.5. Maybe it would get like the 9 centering. But then 
what always happens is they, they decide that it's an 8.5 centering. So then it just ends up being a BGS 9, which is even worse. Um, so really probably just going to keep it a PSA 9. Maybe I'll retry it one day, but very disappointing. Very disappointing. At least it only cost me $150, not $300 to send this in. So, all right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more. Go check out Ruxin34.com if you want to buy some original packs and have them open for a video. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, Elemental Hero! Dark Bright! Boom! Oh.